And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. The rain is overspreading the area. You can see it right here. Light to moderate rain now coming up from the southwest. Rain greater Lafayette back up I-65 to Rensselaer and then all the way down to Crawfordsville. Some of the yellows that rain's coming down a little higher rate here from Crawfordsville to Vetersburg. So those higher Rainfall rates are approaching Greater Lafayette and eventually Frankfort and up here towards like Otterburn, Templeton, Atkinson and then back to Fowler. Raining here around Wolcott and Remington along 24 back here to Shelton, Illinois and Kentland and that's progressing northeastward towards like Francisville, Madaryville and Winnemac and the rain is closing in on Kokomo and Logansport as well. So it's a matter of a time for all these areas get in on what's going to be a wet November evening. A low tonight overnight at 50, but it'll be 53 at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll hit our high temperature in generally the mid to late midday ish hours tomorrow at 54 and then fall a little bit in the afternoon on what's going to be a breezy day and after a decent amount of rainfall through morning and midday and early afternoon, it'll become much more spotty later on in the day with 53 to 57 doing it for highs 56 flora up here to Headley and Monon and 56 Winnemac and we'll get to that 54 at Attica. Now on Friday the low clouds kind of linger on so gray and gloomy through noon and then we get some clearing in the afternoon especially over the western half of our viewing area mid 40s in the a.m. p.m. highs in the mid 50s for most of the area though low 50s at Logansport the low 50s at Monticello, mid 50s down here at Pine Village, down towards Foster and also Crawfordsville. There's 730, 930. There's more the rainfall again. Every now and then you'll get a little bit of a break, brief break. Here's 1130, still more rainfall off and on during the night, 730 in the morning, still uh, some rainfall around kind of tapering though to more just showers with time. So rather than it being longer duration bouts of rain, it's much more showery mid to late morning and early afternoon. This is around two or three and then it's just low clouds tomorrow night and into Friday with some eventual clearing, especially over the western and southwestern half of the viewing area later on Friday. Four to eight tenths still looks pretty good for a lot of the area rainfall wise, but it does appear we got the potential uh, of a corridor, narrow corridor of, of some areas getting more than eight tenths of an inch of rain. Now that system pulls away. We've got some dry days for a while. Then our next system comes in first a few showers uh, Sunday night and also a few into Monday morning, but then more rainfall later Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. This will be Sarah, which may be a tropical storm that hits Florida. These two may kind of merge together on the East Coast, and then we just get the cold air. And look at that, the snow showers. Highs only near freezing, windy weather, and snow showers. Not only Thursday, but Friday and into next Saturday. And I wouldn't rule out at least a little very minor accumulation in the area. So after these above normal temperatures and the pink and the red coldest weather since February will be roaring in from the west and impact us here down the road. And I can show you that right now. Normal 52 mild Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, falling temperatures Wednesday and then look at the snow showers off and on Thursday, Friday and even some into that Saturday.